I guess when I first was growing up, it didn't really bother me all that much. I was told not to let it bother me, and then came school and I started becoming very self-conscious because I noticed all these other kids had two fully functioning hands and I was the only one who didn't. And um, obviously things were more challenging for me to do while they were doing things with two hands like sports and games. I could only use my one hand and it was pretty hard. I was doing something called a health headline in um, health class and I had decided to do it on prosthetics and I thought this was the perfect opportunity to ask if there was a 3D printer I could use. And that's how it all happened. The rest kind of took off from there. So it, the challenge started and we just ran with it. We started with a, a good old fashioned Google search. We found a lot on prosthetics. We found a lot on uh, files and designs. Uh, so then we actually found an existing blueprint that fit Virginia's needs. Uh, we printed it out and then the customization had to begin from there fitting it to her, uh, forming it, uh, molding it. Uh, we had to make tensioners out of a 50-pound fishing line and uh, adjust them. And uh, then just basically I told her to wear it, see where it works, see where it doesn't work, and we're going to have to modify the design from there. It hasn't been bothering my wrist or anything. It's actually been soothing much of the pain I've felt in my wrist. I mean, I guess this doubles as a brace. Score. And he put it on me essentially and said how do you like it go wear it and it was just amazing I couldn't I couldn't I can't thank him enough still